God delivers in phases, just like we see in the books of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. God delivers in phases. God delivers you in stages. You've been in a hard place for a very long time and you feel like you can't take it any longer. But I want to encourage you to look into the Word of God. Focus on the books of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. You see, it is in these books where we find out God's character. God delivers in phases and stages. Sometimes it's all at once, and sometimes it's over the course of a span, or it's over time. Yes, deliverance can be sudden, but it can also be a process when Holy Spirit is developing his fruit in your life. The Israelites' journey out of Egypt and into the Promised Land was marked by stages. They left Egypt. Moses led the Israelites out of slavery and into freedom, but God tested them before they could enter into the Promised Land. They wandered in the wilderness. They were surrounded by rocks and sand and unfavorable conditions. They complained about their lack of food and water and their discomforts. They received God's law. The Israelites received God's law at Mount Sinai. Then they entered the promised land. They entered the promised land under Joshua's direction. All of these things unfolded in the books of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. It showed the story. Holy Spirit develops fruit in the hard places. He strengthens faith in the hard places. He grows us up in higher maturity in these harsh conditions. Be careful not to complain because it messes with the development of the the fruit process. He's growing fruit on you. And I say on you because it's going to be apparent. People will most likely see the love, the peace, the gentleness, the patience, the self-control, the joy, all of the fruits of the Spirit. Holy Spirit is displaying on you. Fruit comes forward in certain seasons and circumstances, and it's just like that in the spirit. God is developing you in certain seasons and circumstances so that his fruit can be apparent in your life. You are not going backwards. It's simply a bonus question on the test because you have come to the end of a season or hard lessons. God wants you to see where you are just like a good teacher does when they add a bonus question to the test. It's a point in the journey that looks like a setback. But if you pass the test and hopefully get this bonus, it's going to be a setup for the next spiritual progression in your life. Reflect on where you are in the spirit. Most likely you've grown. You're not where you're going, but you're certainly not where you used to be. You don't complain as often. You ask God for directions more. You want to grow in the spirit. You're looking in the word. You're praying. You're fasting. You're seeking God. New glory realms are waiting for you to enter in. Keep going and keep growing those fruit. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Madra Bell, and I pray that these insights have blessed you and strengthened your faith. As you go, remember this. I love you with the love of Christ. Stay encouraged and stay in his word. Keep trusting in his plan. If you have a prayer request, connect with me on the links in the description. Thank you. Be blessed.